This is Diamond Fernandez. I'm the founder and director of the HeartFit Clinic. Today, I just wanted to quickly discuss about uh, snow shoveling. Uh, snow shoveling and heart attacks really do happen a lot this time of year, this type of season, uh, especially between high snowfalls and all the way down to, well, in Calgary at least, all the way to even May sometimes, uh, especially with the wet, heavy snow. Uh, the reason why those heart attacks occur and they manifest themselves uh, during snow shoveling is really because of a few things. One, of course, you do have some type of heart disease. It just started to manifest itself uh, during that time of shoveling snow. The second thing is it is cold. The weather, cold weather extremes uh, constricts your arteries and doesn't allow the blood to flow appropriately. And third thing is, is that you're pushing heavy loads of snow and that constricts the blood vessels. It's kind of like clamping down on the blood vessels and causes uh, then a higher blood pressure um, to happen inside your arteries. So those are the main things that happen while you're shoveling snow and the reason why it manifests itself during cold weather extremes and pushing loads of snow. Um, so those are the, obviously the reasons. Now how to avoid that? Very simple. First, uh, get timely screenings. Those are very important. If you uh, do not have a good fitness level and you're going out and shoveling snow, it may not be the best idea. So get timely screenings. That's very important. The second thing I would recommend is make sure you warm up well. Um, that will dilate your blood vessels and allow the blood to flow a lot more smoother. And the third thing is then to push lighter loads of snow. Uh, you know, you don't have to push heavy loads of snow because pushing that will cause your uh, muscles to contract. It's like kind of like pushing against the wall, not really moving it. So those are some quick tips to how you can prevent a heart attack while shoveling snow. Here's to your success and I look forward to discussing more with you.